So dragons just got buffed in this recent balance patch. We really didn't do a video taking a look at them. It's like they got their base speed buff. They got a little nuances to their skills. So today we are taking a look at five different dragon cleaves. Or not so much the five different dragon cleaves. We're taking a look at all five dragons in various cleaves. I was actually surprised to see how many people were using Zyros in, uh, in RTA. And not even like, oh, it's a fighter two using Zyros. It's like... No, people, like this one's uh, C3 using Zyros doing very well so far. Very well. I'm curious if he is on just attack power and not not so much crit. Because I was thinking about this too. As I just finished saying C3 and G1 and whatever. Now we're taking a look at a C1. However, this is triple dragons. We have to look at this because it's just, what, what says dragon video more than three dragons being used in one match. So who takes turn one? We got the better base. Okay, so the uh, more takes turn one. We had the better base speed on the Triton than the more, but we had the better speed lead with the uh, the Vanessa. So that's one unit down. Illusion of time, however, is Triton going to cut and actually inc uh, increase the attack. I don't think Triton's going to increase any attack gauges. Uh, decrease the attack gauge. This, yeah, he needed to resist that. And it's over. Now we get to see a Zarath cleave. I'm expecting lots of crazy stuff. Got got two speed leads. Has two speed leads. So I'm assuming that that uh, fire shadow casters on Swift. Do they have will runes? They don't have will runes on the sec mid because they're just trying to get as much speed as possible on her. However, I think that oh hold on hold on he resists. So that means he's gonna cleanse now. That means he also doesn't get to do too much damage. Samoth will at least be able to reset two of these over here. Potentially reset, potentially not reset, but they're fire units, so... I, uh, I, I kind of have uh, faith in Samoth on, uh, on that occasion. Samoth doesn't really disappoint me too much. Now that I think about it, I should just pick Samoth more. Okay, how much damage? Lots of damage. Which is what he's, the, that's what he's there for, that's what all the dragons are there. Lots of damage and uh, crazy stuff. So, I think this is basically GG here. Unless they can reset Samoth. Which, maybe they can, maybe they can't. Yeah, I think this is just GG. Well, Dragon's dead. We don't need to see this match anymore. Alright, Overwhelm. And GG. Now we're going to take a look at a Grogan match. This is one of my most wanted LD5s in the game. I know people are like, oh, you don't want a Ragdoll, you don't want a Gianna. Okay, I do want Gianna as well. But one of these teams is way more free-to-play friendly than the other one. We got two LDs, and then we got no Nat 5s on the other side. So, yeah. And they got the, the Leo and the Lucifer Wombo. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, think, I think we all saw that one coming. Jimmy, your time. This first couple picks looks like something I would do and then be very frustrated as to why I didn't have enough damage. He does have attack power buffs. He does have two strippers. He does have, well, he does have damage with, uh, with Jameer, because Jameer does pretty decent damage. He also has damage from the Water Monkey, especially with the additional damage on skill three. However, and he's got the CC. However, he doesn't have any defense breaks. Was that, wait, wait, was that squishy? I'm trying to do the math in my head. Was that a super squishy carnal? He got the cleanse. Okay. Um, I'm really curious. And then he finishes carnal. He does not finish carnal. He gets punished for that too. He didn't land anything. He could have finished the carnal off. Because here's what's going to happen. Now we got the girls, pl uh, girls player. <laughs> that's, not a, that's not even a word. This, I, what I just said was not even a word. Uh, girl's Prayer, which means everything else is back up, uh, back full up to full HP. So, additional turn Thunder Break. Nice. They do still have the attack age decrease with the Varisa, though. So, I think at some point... I think it's some... I, you know what? Actually, I think this monkey is going to do just fine. The, the Water Monkey is going to do just fine against the, uh, against the Kinky. I'm trying to think of how I feel about what's going to happen here, but uh, he's got invincibility. Kiki really can't... Maybe maybe I should uh, pick this Water Monkey more. Because he really can... Because Water Monkey is actually strong. I am learning things about how I can play better from this video. <laughs> wow, that's, uh, I wasn't expecting that one. Um, no, because Water Monkey is actually very strong against Kinky. And very strong against Leona. That's the one that took me like a minute to think of Leona. Because he's going to keep doing those multi-hits. He's going to keep stripping on there. So, 
Actually, not bad. And Kinky just, you know, Kinky can revenge, but he's got invincibility and immunity. It doesn't really matter. So this one is more of your typical Jameer cleave team, Jameer tableau, Bastet, or another attack bar booster, attack power buffer. And then Lucian gets banned out. The Leia is still going to be able to do quite a decent amount of damage. And oh, we got the revenge. That's not good. However, it was a water unit. So they didn't fully increase their attack bar. They didn't, uh, they didn't get those crits. So Crescent Blade obliterates two units, illusion of time, turn cycle some more, and rinse and repeat. This is, I mean, this is your, your traditional uh, Jameer Tableau cleave combination at its finest. Leo first pick. So they're going for a Leo Lucifer cleave, but still Leo first pick. That's not what I would have picked. First off, I wouldn't have picked Leo first. Second off, the other player is not picking enough uh, sustain to really come back from that. How is, if you know that they're gonna Lucian, why, why, why Feng Yan is my, is my question. Maybe I shouldn't, I, sh I shouldn't complain too much, right? Okay, amputation magic, and then Feng Yan gets deleted, but that's what, I mean, that's to be expected, right? And then Grogan just, Grogan just decimates everything. First pick Ciara, this used to be the standard, like, five seasons ago. Now everyone's like, oh, first pick Masha, Dominic. Oliver, Oliver's kind of taking the place of anyone that was first picking Ciara anyway, because Oliver's just stronger than she is. Rip Ciara. It's not that she got worse, it's just that Oliver is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. So, three LD5s on the other side, bans one of them out. I don't know, man. Armageddon, okay. And then Ciara's gonna put a bomb on something. At what? Never. <laughs> just kidding. Uh, I was just kidding about that Ciara bomb. That was a joke. I was trying to say, haha. <laughs> Ciara pops like, no. I'll See, this is why, though. This is what what I was saying. Like, this is why Oliver is not... I mean, uh, Ciara is not, uh, not as much of a thing because Oliver exists, and that's why. So. Get stunned. Vertiheal is going to do some Vertiheal things. Okay, but that's not going to kill the uh, Zerath. Zerath is so, so super tanky. Even so... Wow, that still didn't kill the Oliver. But... Z Zarath can handle this. She puts a bomb on uh, Vertigo. Oh, resists. He's he's got this though. Yeah. Back to C one. You kind of see the difference between C one picks and C three G one picks is C one is like a very specific. They're like I'm gonna do a cleave. I'm gonna do a bruiser team. The higher you go, the more it is just hybrid and picking for efficiency rather than like sticking to a specific uh, sticking to a specific team comp. However, there are some players that still do stick to a specific, very specific team comp, and they're like, no, I'm gonna do cleave, but it's just such an efficient cleave that I can still win even at high level with this very. Uh, very specific cleave comp that I don't really deviate from too much. So, yeah, this is this is more of a standard, uh, just the standard control cleave, which is nice. Oh, here we go, here we go. Here's the comeback. Thirteen turns for Riley. Yep. Are they? They're autoing. They just put the, they just put the game down. Okay, they, we're just watching someone that's fighting against uh, another player that put the game down. Put the phone down through the phone. They, uh, this is not really a, a phone throwing match. This is just a well. Even though the the AI still would have used the totem, right? The AI still would use that uh, that skill the skill four. The un uncooldownable skill 4 from Riley. We've got Obabo now, G3. First pick, Water Ryu. I'm actually surprised to see that. Has he been picking first pick, Water Ryu? Over and over again? Or is this just that he knows the... Because a lot of the time in uh, at that high level, people all know each other. People all know what kind of comps each other are bringing. So that's one of the reasons that you see certain things being first pick. They're like, oh, I'm, I know that they have this LD that they're trying to use. Let me bring in the... You know these these certain picks so yeah i feel like this is just going to be an easy win for him but but then again oh hold on hold on hold on because now nana stacked so nana stacked how crazy okay yeah there's three water units against two fire units and a nana this is that's that's game super nasty first pick nephthys into they got two passives they don't really have to worry about the vertiheal either because vertiheal is not going to be on well they could just either trap him in the scroll or they could just tiana and vertiheal can't revenge into that so they didn't need to they got both lds through 
Poseidon gets banned. Go. Attack power buff. Neptis goes with, and this is just GG, right? Don't tell me that they, yeah, it's just GG. No, they did survive. The boy who lived. Yeah, she's not going to do any damage, though, with the glancing. With the glancing, with no defense buff. No damage. I, this is still, <laughs> this is still just GG. So she did have buff, so uh, Tiana wasn't guaranteed a crit. Gu Tiana is guaranteed a crit. Oh, look at that. There we go. I mean, she didn't have the uh, glancing there, and she had the attack power buff. So, gets watch this Verta Heal solo. Verta Heal's gonna so oh my! If Verta Heal solos, I I quit the game. Please, Verta Heal solo. <laughs> he's gonna have the attack power buff. He's got he's got the attack power buff. He's got a defense break. Verta Heal's just gonna so okay. Verta Heal's just gonna solo. Is this a two hundred percent revenge rate? Hold on. Yeah, there we go. Oh my goodness. I don't know what I'm looking at anymore. So we got Ileana first pick, which is... you. Were, if you were going to pick the Dominic anyway, why Ileana? Okay. Anyway, uh, let's see if this shield will double on Amusha. They've got the invincibility on Dominic. Is Dominic going to be able to just... I wouldn't have gone for that. He's going to be the tankiest. He's going to be the... I would have gone for the, uh, the Grogan. The Grogan was going to be the squishiest one. That's what I would have done. Yeah, I would have just gone for the Grogan. Why? Why? I'm curious why they went for that. I'm also curious why they picked Ileana first. I'm curious about a lot of things. All right, invincibility on both units now. I'm just assuming he's going to not put the invincibility. He's still going for that one. He needs to get stacked first before he goes crazy. You can just not worry about him. He could have just got. <laughs> he could have just gone for the Grogan. He could have just gone for the Grogan. Those look like Fighter 1 first picks on the right-hand side. Clearly not Fighter 1. That's going to be super fast. Those units are all going to be ridiculously fast on the right-hand side. Let's take a look. No Will Runes either. So he doesn't even have to ban Gianna or anything. Stuns everything. Time to loot. Wow, the ga I was actually uh, surprised Galleon wasn't moving first before, uh, before Tashar. However... Yeah, just everything's got super high base speed. That's uh, that's what that was. So, decent enough. Kaki solo. Kaki, Kaki would have done... Kaki can handle... Oh, stunned. Hold it. That's why they're trying to take Kaki out, because they know Kaki can solo. And now he just goes for skill two. And, oh, he still didn't kill. He still didn't kill the... Uh, we had a defense buff and... Uh, they crit resist. I don't think that crit, crit resist was doing too much. But yeah, still defense. They were just super. Like the entire team was just super fast. First pick. One of these teams is definitely more uh, more pay to win than the other. Or maybe you know maybe it's just lucky, right? Maybe you just got lucky. So bans out. Wow, I was surprised that that was the ban. Actually, to, <laughs> to be brutally honest, I was surprised that that was the ban. So touch of seduction on the uh, Antares. Let's see what happens. Pure Soul is not going to do enough. Yeah, none, none of that's going to, none of that's going to do enough. It obliterates everything. Everything dies, and one thing comes back from the dead. Doesn't wind up killing the dragon. And yeah, doesn't. Oh, hold on, hold on. Actually, kills there. It's still not. It's still not enough. It doesn't really matter. It's not. He's he's not going to be able to soul the entire team unless he does soul the entire team. Maybe he does. No, he's not. I, I, I told you he's not going to do that. One of these teams looking significantly more expensive than the other. I think that the player on the right hand side bans him. <laughs> ban out the Neptis. They're like, I don't want him using LD5 too. I think the player on the right hand side uh, just want to play with whatever LD5 that they had. Regardless of the team synergy or not, because the Lime was actually getting countered by the Tion Lang. If you guys didn't notice that already, Lime is actually. Uh, what exactly what I exactly what I just said? Because Tian Lang's gonna work on both. Oh, hold on! I was gonna say I think this is is basically over. However, uh, Violent Prox and Sheng Peng. Sheng Peng is actually very solid into Tian Lang. Anything that decreases attack bar, very solid into Tian Lang, right? So Tian Lang's Tian Lang is great against cleave teams because cleave teams are all just gonna yeah you know, bast it or. Uh, Megan, Draco, they're just going to increase their attack age. It's not going to be as significant. Tian Lang is going to cut in. He's going to AoE strip stun things. So this is, uh, so Xiong Peng is actually a very, very solid unit into, um, 
into Pontos, Lima, and Tian Lang. They picked really nice into here, and they actually wound out, wound out, wound up coming out with a win. So this is just proof that full team of LD5s doesn't necessarily guarantee you a win. You do have to actually make sure that there's team synergy together, and you can still outpick them, uh, outdraft them, and still come out with a win. It's just a little bit harder. Anyway, guys, that's it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you as always in the next one.